maybe even a little hotter here in the Portland area. Bruce is standing by live at the Oregon International Air Show tonight in Hillsboro. Uh, Bruce, it's going to be a lot warmer this time tomorrow, isn't it? Oh, it's incredible. We're really going to heat up fast tomorrow. And you know, Jeff, looking at the calendar, it's been about 360 days since we have hit 90, and it looks like tomorrow's our day to do it again. Now, let's play out a scenario on a hot summer day. You're out on a boat off the coast, and you end up in the water. You need to be rescued. This is what's going to come for you. This basket lowered down from a Coast Guard helicopter like this. And this is one of the cool things about the air show. You can actually come up, take a look inside, actually sit inside these rescue choppers uh, from the Coast Guard. And I've got Lieutenant Franco here uh, with me. And uh, you, you guys fly off the Oregon coast, you know, Pacific City, Newport. That's your, kind of your territory. Yeah. The question I get, Lieutenant, a lot is how do those Coast Guard guys stay in the air and fly into storms? Well, a lot of it's just training. Um, and re re repetition, going out there and doing a lot, and practicing. If you're ever on the Oregon coast during the summertime, you probably see us quite a bit out there working with the stations. I was just there last week, and I saw you guys flying. Pa Did you see me? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> no. But, yeah, we go out there and practice in a lot of conditions, and, and uh, it's a really challenging environment out here, and it just helps us to be prepared when, when we do get the call. And, and how do you see when we've got a big storm like we'll have in just a couple of months, you know, barreling off the Pacific coast, you get a call, there's somebody in the water or boats, you know, sinking. How do you see them? Um, actually, we, a lot of times we don't. We'll fly into the clouds and go out there, and we'll use our instruments to get down to the water. And uh, we'll, we'll come down to a hover about 50 feet and start looking. And we'll just kind of puck along underneath the clouds and wow. uh, hope we spot them or that have is, a better position. But. That is incredible. Well, Lieutenant uh, Franco, thank you for your time and for all your work, too, by the way, rescuing Oregonians and Washingtonians. Let's take a look at what's going on weather-wise tonight. It's a whole different story. We're a long way from the rainy season. I'm kind of glad about that. Let's have some summer heat around here. And outside we go. It is a beautiful night. Here's what's happening right now. Uh, you know what? are warm. They're 80s across the area. 81 degrees, our current temperature in Portland. Salem is at 82, 89 in the Dalles right now. A great night for barbecuing. Just enjoying just the summertime. You know, it says summer when it's 79 in downtown. Out here in Hillsboro at the air show, we're still at 81 degrees, but we got a breeze. It feels perfect. Okay, let's break down what is coming our way for the weekend. First of all, high pressure dominates now. That keeps us dry. But do you see those clouds, the big white ones on the top left of your screen? That is a storm system that is going to be near us on Sunday. It's going to impact northern Washington most, but we are going to notice the impact, and it's going to cool us down a little bit. That's, that's about all we'll see from it. But here's the situation. Tomorrow's the peak of the heat. The storm track is the furthest north tomorrow. Then we work our way through Sunday. And as we get into Sunday, that cooler air is really impacting those of you along the coast and in northern Washington. The rest of us are still quite warm on Sunday. Then we get into Monday, and enough of that cool air comes in. Not cold, but cool air that we bring our temperatures back down to the earth, out of the 90s, and very comfortable zone by Monday. So let's break down what to expect as far as the specific numbers. Let me pinpoint things for you. Tomorrow's high temperatures along the coast coming up with a 60s to about 70 degrees. We'll hit 70 in Tillamook, 87 in Kelso. So what a day there. As far as the rest of the I-5 corridor, we're coming up 90s from one end to the other. So we'll, we'll be, you know, 80 degrees by lunchtime probably tomorrow. So it, you'll definitely notice it's our hottest day of the year. Central and eastern Oregon, right around 90 degrees uh, virtually everywhere tomorrow. As far as the Cascades, here's a beautiful story for you. What a day for a hike when it's 78 at government camp. Think of all the snowy days there. And that's going to be almost 80 tomorrow. I love that contrast. 95 in the Dalles, 93 Hood River. A light east wind will be blowing tomorrow, and that helps actually warm us up. It's dry, warm air. Uh, around 90 for the entire metro area tomorrow. You know, some places might end at 89, but other places make it to 92. It's that kind of range that we're working with as we go through our Saturday. Breaking it down for you now, the specifics on what to expect and when. The pinpointing your morning temperature, warm out the door. 81 already at lunchtime. And at 9 o'clock tomorrow night, we're cooling off, yes, but we're still at an incredible 77 degrees. Now, here's your seven-day forecast. It's going to be beautiful over the next week because not only do we hit 90 tomorrow, we cool off a little bit on Sunday. And then if that's too hot for you, no problem because we're headed to the low 80s for much of the next week. And most people I talk to say 78 to 82 is about right. We're going to spend a lot of time in that zone. So we're live at the air show. Ken Body just showed up. You know, Coin Local 6 anchor Ken Body. he's here. You can come take your 
picture with them. I'll be here tonight. Sally Showman, our weekend weather anchor, she'll be here tonight till 10. And Jeff, I know you're going to be out here tomorrow morning at the air show at the Coin Local 6 booth. So we'll see you later. Okay. Yeah, I'll be out there at 10 o'clock. Thanks, Bruce. We first want to update you right now on some breaking news.